My name is Kola Ogunkoya, the Bedu Master. You already know. Fine, fine, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ella inju ege. Sweetie, baby. Ella inju ege. Ah, toba di fere fe, toba do joale. Pe min lo ruko, kufa min irumu. To badi fere fe to bado joale pe mi loruko ko fa mi ni rugbo so un ti mo fe je so un ni o je ngbo pe mi loruko ko fa mi ni rugbo yeah it's good to see you all again this is a new episode of Ojulumo the no tables i want to specially thank you all for watching this program and a very big thank you to all our subscribers but if you are yet to subscribe can you subscribe and remember to press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload a new video the bedu master Paula Gugoya himself is our guest for today and i'm urging you all to sit back and let's hear from him i'm from west africa nigeria and originally from Ogun State. And uh, like you know, my dad, my mom, they're from Ogun State, Jebu, Shagam, and Oderemo. And uh, I was born in Imo State, Oweri. So, in the way the culture is, I'm from Ogun State, I'm from the Jebu. The Jebu man proper, Esham, don't play. My journey so far. Oh, yeah, so it's been a while, it's been a while, I mean, but uh, I really thank God for everything because uh, for those who knows me real good and uh, now, you know, it's been a uh, long journey, but when you look at it, God is good. Like, I started from church and uh, that was Aladura Church and uh, that's called the Church of the Lord, Aladura in Moshi Olosha. I was raised by a police officer. My dad is a police officer. My mom is a trader, you know, they sell stuff. And uh, I'm not from a rich family, but I'm rich. You know, we're rich, but we don't have that big money like that, you know. So, but uh, you know, my dad, they always go out, hustle, and my mom sells stuff at the shop and uh, so we go to church once in a while i'm like yeah i really want to learn this thing you know i really want to be in the choir i love music from the one and music has been part of me so i started from the choir and uh, i was able to learn how to play the trumpet so we started from the trumpet i was able to learn how to play keyboard piano and all that so from there, now small, small, we can't begin to grow with that. And uh, I think the first band, the first band I played with was uh, Webisco Spiritual Singers. You know, it's been a long time. We used to sing like a gospel song. And uh, I played in different churches also, like Kibati, like the Celestia Church, like the Kerubu and Seram, you know. So it's been like, we learn music, we pick music from everywhere, and uh, that was how I grew up. And uh, from there, I was able to play with handsome Wally Abiodun, the Juju musician. I think it's uh, after that, I was able to do with uh, a lot of other artists like 
then, you know, 88, I played with uh, Victor Laya, Dr. Victor Laya, Vibola Laya, the late. And uh, I used to play with Jambos Express. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking back, it's been a while. And uh, yeah, I know I started my band 88 when I left from uh, Stadium Hotel, when I left the All Star Band. That was when I started my band. And it's been a rough beginning, but we thank God, you know, here I am. From there, we were called Kola Gukoya. Kola Gukoya in the Afro, Afro beat ensemble. So, you know, we moved from there and, you know, we thank God. Oh, yes. Well, from my parents, my mom, you know, my mom, they understand it. She really know what's up. She want us to be something, what we want to be. She want us to go ahead and do it. But my dad, my dad is somebody that he wants you to do this. He wants you to do what he wants you to do. I mean, I appreciate all that now. But then, me and they look and say, ah, make this baba leave me alone. Might do what I want to. But, you know, uh, so I'll go out and play. And my mom will be like, sneak me out through the back. I'll go when it's night. I'll come back through the back door when my dad is not around. But later on, after a while, my dad was like watching television one day. And I was right there with all-star band Dr. Victor Laya, the late, who were playing at NTH and I 10 then. So my dad was inside the room and we were playing live on TV. And so he was like, and the doctor Victor Laya said, on trumpet, uh, schoolboy, Kola Ogukoya. And I was like, Bah. And my dad was like, Who? Kola what? So then he saw me playing the trumpet. I think he was very happy, he was so proud, and all that, you know, as we Baba be now. So, and since then, he was cool with it. He's like, Oh, okay, I don't know you can play like that. Okay, you know. And But the other thing is, uh, me growing, starting my own band is very difficult. Because I remember then in Niger, trying to get a recording deal, uh, went to Premier Record, EMI, uh, you know, in those days, Dean DC, Chris Agilo, and all that. But Chris Agilo was good though. The other guys was like, oh, you play like Fela, it's too much just like Fela. Oh, no, no, no. Go and wait till Fela die. We can't release this kind of music. This is like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm talking of 80, 90, and you know. It was, it was funny. So what I did was I'm like, oh, okay, if you guys not going to release my record, no problem. I went to, back to the drawing board. I called my band together. We start doing Riaza and we start playing shows. We play at Jazz at all. We play at Jazz 38 at Ulawa Road. We were playing at Jazz Bill, Onike, Iwaya. And we were doing that every Friday night, Thursday night, Wednesday night, one place or the other. Guess what happened? That was how we start growing. And we have a lot of fans. And we don't have a record deal. I mean, that, is, that was something I will never forget. And every other artist we were playing concert with, we were playing, uh, we played uh, Lucky Sun Splash, if you remember Lucky Sun Splash. And every other artist, they have a record deal, they have a record label. But Kola Gukura Bedu Master, we don't have no record label. But guess what? We have plenty of fans lovers of our music and we really appreciate that. That was how we were able to grow. Everything about me today is God, but I'll say through the music, because anything where I get, anything where I be right now, is through the music, it's through my music. You know, and uh, I really thank God for that. And music has been part of me from day one, and it's been part of me from Nigeria to America, and it's been part of me all through in America. And that's what we still do to, to, to tomorrow. Like they always say, also y'all never die. You know, we're going to be in music till we, when we gone, the music will still be there. And I love it. Oh, why the saxophone? Hmm. The saxophone has been uh, some kind of stuff that I really love, you know, because of the sound of the saxophone and um, 
I love the sound because when you want to lead a band, like, yeah, you can lead a band with the trumpets, you can lead a band with uh, any other instrument, but see, with the saxophone, it's very easy to lift the band, and it's also the melody, like you want to key in some song, and then you want the band to follow you, and uh, pretty much, I used to watch Fela Nicola Pocuti, and I used to watch Orlando Julius, a okay, Monday, and I'm like, okay, if they play the sax, I have to switch to the sax. You know, growing up, you have to look up to some, you know, and that was how I ended up with the sax, and I love it, auto sax. Oh yeah, I played with uh, a lot of band and a lot of superstars and uh, friend and son and brothers to a lot of Nigerian superstars. Okay, I play with uh, Eddie Okota, B of Trumpet. I play with uh, Dr. Victor Laya. I play with Webisco Spiritual Singers. I played with um, Hanson Wali Abiodo and uh, and uh, Jambos Express here. And I'm like, you know, I've been part of a lot of stuff like King Wasiu in the match, I came won the ultimate, you know, part of legacy. And uh Sashino Peters, you know, those days water pack. And um, I mean a lot, a lot, <laughs> you know. Most of the time I don't get mad. People see me, they feel like I'm always happy and I'm always happy because I play music. You know, but uh, sometimes, you know, we musicians too, we they get that dull moment. You know, like, um, if you look at it, people always think, okay, musician, we got it all, we have everything, we don't have no problem. Yeah, we have problems, I mean, but for me, I feel like I don't have problem because uh, any little thing I have is all right for me. That's the way my mom trained me and my dad, you know, so I've been like that from the one. And um, yeah, yeah, I would say I don't have a regret being a musician at all because I don't know which kind of job I've been to again, apart from playing music. Yeah, I'm a businessman, but music is the real, it's number one for me. Oh, yeah, my advice uh, for upcoming artists um, is very simple just be yourself. Be yourself and do what you know. And uh, don't try to be what you're not. And always believe in your God because, you know, anything we do, we have to give him all the glory because uh, it's not by your power or anything. And, but, you see, we always get confused and we want to be like this, we want to be like that. But you have your own unique. You're unique. If you do your thing yourself, You'll be all right. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Hey, this is Kola Ogukwe Agbeju Master. Shout out to Royal Lake TV. And keep watching, you know, Ojulumo, you know. And uh, make sure you subscribe and go on YouTube. You're going to get a lot of stuff that they're doing. And subscribe and show your love, you know. Yeah, I hope we all enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you again next week Sunday that we're going to be coming with another episode of Ojulumo. Till then, remember to stay safe and don't forget to eat in order to stay strong. I love you all and bye for now.